Hey everybody, hope you're doing very well tonight. Um, this is not the most fun video that I've ever done, but I think it's very critical and important for any grower, but especially new growers, um, and that is thrip. Now, if you plan on growing Nepenthes, chances are you're gonna get them at some point. I try everything I can to try to avoid them, but they're almost inevitable. Um, and I wanna show you how that you can take care of this. This is the first time I've ever had them. Um, I've had them for who knows how long, but been treating only for a couple weeks. And I wanna just show you real quick what I do. But first and foremost, the things you need to see, it's a little tough, but you see those dark, let me see if I can wipe it off. Sorry for the camera. You see those dark streaks? There's a telltale sign of thrip. Also the deformities in the leaves. It's also a very good indication. Um, thrip, sometimes you can see them. They are very difficult to see. Um, and usually you won't find out until you see the damage. Now, the important thing when dealing with thrip is that you want to hit uh, get them as soon as possible, as soon as you see the damage. Um, and the reason why you want to do that, they spread very, very quickly, especially if you're growing in a enclosed area, like it's like a grow tent, they will spread very quickly uh, and they will infest your plants. Um, minor cases, they'll cause stunted growth and, uh, and obviously as you saw, deformed leaves. Major, uh, major cases, they will wipe out your collection. So <clears throat> they are, you know, not fun, but nothing to really freak out about or be too scared about. Um, I wanna show you the product that I've been using the last few times and um, so I've done the treatment twice last night and then uh, a couple of, uh, maybe like a week ago. And that is this right here. It is an organic Captain Jack's insecticidal so uh, super soap. Um, I have read as many things as I can find online. I am not sponsored by Captain Jack's. My channel is nowhere near that big to get me getting sponsors. But uh, I read so many different things online about what to use. Uh, and this is what I landed on. And I will tell you the first time I sprayed, I had absolutely no, not even a single bit of issues with any of the plants. Um, and I sprayed last night, so let's hope for that continued uh, yeah, turnout. Now, the most important thing with Thrip is you have to be thorough. So make sure that you are spraying uh, both under and on the leaves. You need to spray on the sphagnum moss all around the leaves and on the leaf base itself. Try to not get the spray on the roots, um, which is not hard to do if you grow into these in these pots. Um, or basically any pots. Net pots might be a little bit more risky for the root exposure if you have a root on the outside. Um, but you just wanna make sure that you get every crevice. And here's a good example. Uh, you see how this leaf is folded over? You wanna make sure you get in there too because they like to hide in there. And um, don't be discouraged. It will take a few tries to get it done just when you think you've got them wiped out. Um, chances are they will come back. Um, but while again, thrips, do have a very negative connotation for good reason because they suck. Um, it shouldn't frighten you to the point of just wanting to like ban, or like just get rid of everything, right? There is ways to treat it organically. Um, I've also used ladybugs in the past. Obviously, that didn't work too well because they have grip, uh, but they will help out with other things like mites and, and mealy bugs and stuff like that. Um, I always try to go the bio, the bio route with um, anything that I do, just because it's natural to the plants. It's food for the plants and it's just kind of fun to watch um but again those products the cat and jacks i like to do organic because nepenthes are so uh, susceptible and very um easily upset so here's a good example see this leaf right here i just looked at this uh more than likely that is thrip damage so i'm probably going to spray this plant down i did last night but i might just give that leaf an extra spray did you see how it's just growing all de deformed? Uh, that is not a not a natural growth. This is, I mean, it's got a lot of oedema on it from the Rob Cantley eye parent, but um, that this is definitely thrip. And so it has moved from here. It got one here and now it is here. So again, they will spread very rapidly uh, given an enclosed condition. And so you want to make sure that you treat those. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any questions about pests in general or Nepenthes or anything like that, please let me know. Please, please, please help uh, support the channel by just 
If you know anybody that's interested in these plants or you think would be interested, just like and subscribe and share it with those individuals. My goal here again, as always, is just to get the word out about these plants. They are beautiful, wondrous, endangered, and just magical in every way. They've been around for 200 million years, and I want to see that going. Y'all have a great night.